What's going on my fellow reef builders? My name is Jake Adams and you are joining me in the reef builder studio for a very important first hands on with the brand new six generation Radeon LED light from Ecotech and from Marine. In this video, we're gonna start peeling away everything about these lights until we uh, you know, really determine whether or not these are truly worthy of being named a six generation Radeon LED light. I know like a lot of you, uh, we scrutinized the specification sheet and saw what appears to be some kind of subtle changes, but I've been promised and assured that this is one of the biggest improvements to the Radeon LED light platform. So follow along this video and let's discover how different these lights truly are. Just to be abundantly clear, if you didn't see it in the intro role or in case you skipped ahead, we have a long, healthy relationship with Ecotech Marine. They are one of our YouTube channel sponsors, um, but that is not gonna get them off the hook. We are really gonna drill down into these lights first right here on this box and find out what's different. And then we're gonna put them over a couple tanks and uh, you know compare them to existing lights that we're already using. So this is actually a Gen 5 Radeon Gen 5 Blue that we've used since the lights came out. We had to take that off of one of the coral flats. And then um, here and here, we have the XR30 in pro and a blue version. And then I was fortunate enough to borrow a brand new Radeon Gen 5 Pro to help do us some nice side-by-side -side comparison. We're gonna start off with the Radeon Gen 5 and 6 Pros, because these are kind of like the broad spectrum LED light that should form the foundation of lighting. And you can see, you know, the box is a little bit different, not too much. There is an overall more pinkish hue going on here. And here it looks like there's a lot more whites, but that's um, kind of skewed. So when you look on the back of the box, you do see that the cool whites are different. We've got eight more cool whites. The blues are the same number. Uh, sorry, the royal blues are the same number. The blues are the same number. Red and green is the same number. Um, but in the new version, we've got a few more warm white LEDs and um, a few more of the 415 nanometer UV LEDs and brand new to the range is a 395 nanometer um, LED light. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Gen 5 Pro and Gen 6 Pro and we'll look at them side by side and see what we can tell apart. We have both fixtures out of the box and unlike from the Gen 4 to the Gen 5 where there were some cosmetic changes mostly to how the heat sink is incorporated and exits out the ends of the aquarium. Um, here we're looking at basically two nearly identical fixtures, um, at least superficially, you can't really see a big difference. Um, once you flip it over, um, we're looking at a pretty similar story yet again, although if you're eagle-eyed, you might actually spot something that we spotted. It's ever so slight, but here you can see that the LEDs underneath this cluster, they're just ever so slightly bigger. Keep in mind that the secondary lens right here is magnifying what we're looking at. I, again, I'm not even sure how well you can see that difference, um, but Ecotech Marine uh, says that they changed out every single LED uh, in this particular fixture. So even if it's using cool whites and warm whites in both fixtures, these have all been upgraded and overhauled to the latest and greatest generation. I'm actually gonna take the lens uh, cluster off so we can get a better look at the LEDs side by side. We got to, took the lens clusters off and the difference in size was actually magnified by the secondary lenses. And you have to look real close to see that they're going from a 1.25 millimeter package to a one millimeter package. It's, um, it's more obvious when you compare the LED to the printed square on the circuit board. I'm assuming that these squares are the same size and the LEDs um, definitely look smaller within that 
that square. One great example is the red right here has basically no border. It's got no trim around it. Whereas over here, this red, um, it's got a little bit of uh, a perimeter to it. And uh, yeah, it just looks like it's been buttoned up any uh, a little bit more than before. Um, although, um, these are just like such small minute differences that don't translate into a true generational upgrade. Um, but for the tech nerds uh, that are watching right now, just know that you can clearly see that we have a generational um, improvement in terms of at least what the manufacturers are offering for the LED. So, all right, one thing that's cool too is it was really straightforward to take the lens clusters off and take the shroud off um, because because there's going to be an upgrade path if you currently have fifth generation Radeons and you're interested in going to uh, Radeon Gen 6. Furthermore, you'll also be able to turn your Pro into a Blue or vice versa. So let's get these put back together and uh, fire them up. One last small detail that I want to point out before we get to using these more practically is the UV LEDs over here on the fifth generation Radeons. They, they're so small and flush, it basically just looks like a, a tiny holographic sticker. We've got one here, one there, one there. And I remember remarking just how crazy it is that there's actually ultraviolet light being produced from such a tiny little package. Um, on this generation though, you can clearly see that where there once was a flat holographic sticker, we've got a kind of a raised block and inside that block is an even smaller amount of semiconductor mirror material, but it doesn't have that same holographic shimmer. So I'm really hoping that we have some generational improvements um, on the UV light. Not that we needed much, much more. It's just nice to have that horsepower. And uh, yeah, like I said, these are things that are not going to translate if you're just looking at the specification sheet. Um, but for the nerds among us who want to know that we're getting the best in the cutting and bleeding edge, uh, technology, I think there's our evidence. And the more you look at these versus these, uh, clearly the new generation LEDs are a lot smaller. And uh, all right, gonna put it back together and fire them up. We got both the Gen 5 and the Gen 6 Radeon Pro fired up. Uh, you know, did a basic firmware update. Just wanna say G6 finished up the firmware update just a little bit. And you know, when you fire up all the LEDs, you know, the overall uh, light bright appearance is kind of the same. I think this is really gonna have to be put on the tank to uh, see the differences. But one small detail that we did notice is when you're looking straight on, I should mention all the channels are on right now at 2%. Um, but when you're looking at straight on, hey, it looks pretty much the same brightness. But at an angle, just I was walking away from the light and came back, you could see that there's, these are definitely a much brighter at an angle. And this is before throwing them on the tank and taking any real measurements, just, just eyeballing it. These, you know, really kind of fade away, whereas these still kind of have the same brightness at an angle. So I'm gonna just um, very basically uh, cycle through all the different color channels. So I, I threw these on Mobius on their own aquarium because they're gonna be um, running side by side on their whole aquarium. Here we have the UV channel. I'm gonna bump it up to 10% since we don't have all the LEDs going. So that's uh, all the, uh, the UVs at 10% on the Radeon Gen 5 and Gen 6 Pro. Here's all the violets. There we go. Oh wow, so you can see there's a lot more violets in the Pro now. We got eight versus four. Definitely one of my favorite color. I think they're calling it 430 nanometer now. Uh, these are the Royals, and I think it's actually the same number. Interesting, at this, at that 10%, um, the Gen 5 actually looks a little bit brighter. Let me turn that up a little bit more. So these are the Royals. I think these look brighter because they're bluer. They're like a lighter blue than these ones right here. So let me push it back down to 10%. Here's the blue. I think these are roughly the same in both of them. It almost looks like a, got a little bit of a touch of the cyan on over here. Not much, but doesn't appear to be the exact same color on both sides. And then I think the green is the same. Yep, yep. It's not the forest green, but uh, it'll do. We got the photo red. Make up light. 
Same, same in both lights. Warm white. You got a little bit more, and this is a color that I freaking love. I've always loved this because warm white is one of those colors that helps to um, balance out uh, the blues more than cool white, but it helps to bring out the uh, the bright pinks of bird's nest, passiflora, and stylophora. So, a couple more warm whites there. These look a little warmer, just a tiny bit warmer. And then, last but not least, we got the main engine of light. Kind of hard to do with these gloves. Here's the cool whites, which I think have been just ever so slightly reduced. Yeah, here you can see we have two main channels. Here we have kind of two strips with a couple gaps in between that are populated by other LEDs. Now it's time to put the Radeon Blues through their paces on the... Your left here, we have kind of like a launch day uh, Radeon Gen 5 Blue, and over here is a launch day Radeon Gen 6 Blue. And already, you can see a, a much bigger difference um, from the G5 to the G6 in the blue than we could in the Pro. Uh, just like before though, um, when you're looking at them from above, it's kind of the same, but from an angle, I have the lights currently set all channels to 1% um, at an angle, it almost looks like these aren't even on. Um, some small cosmetic differences, and notice here we have some Phillips screws um, on the underside. I'm thinking that's been already uh, changed in later uh, editions of the Gen 5s. Um, you can also see through the PCP board the blue heat sink, which was not visible in the you know later edition Gen 5 Pro that we were just working on, but just at at a glance, you know, it looks like a lot of the blues are similar, but over here there's just like a lot more green and cyan, and um, the first gen uh, of the blue, which was the G5, didn't have any warm whites to it. So I'm going to cycle through all the different channels and you're going to be able to see the visual differences side by side. All right, so we're going to cycle through the channels. I'm set to about 7%. I'm going to turn up the UV all the way. And you know what, let me turn it up just a little bit more. And here's what appears to be the really dim 395s. They're supposed to be dimmer to our eyes. Those, our eyes are not meant to uh, register those wavelengths, but in a reef aquarium setting, those are gonna add a new level of excitation to the corals. And then we've got our 415s here and two 405s, whereas in the previous gen, um, it was just 405, 415, still beautiful, delectable, delicious spectrum. Um, one thing you'll notice from this demo is like before, the two UV colors are on the same channel. Same with the G6. The three UV colors are on the same channel. So we're going to turn those down and um, then uh, turn up the violets. Oh man, I'm seeing all kinds of spots. Alrighty, you can see that there's twice as many violets. This is something that I personally championed. Um, the violet 430 nanometer, that is just that juicy, purpley blue that I feel is just one of the best colors. So we got six over here, we got 12 over there. Um, I believe the royal blue is the same. So a, a ton, yeah, a ton. It even looks the same. Now, do they look kind of a different spectrum at all? They definitely look brighter from the edge. You can see that. Okay, I got my glasses on. They look pretty dang the same in terms of um, general color. Um, all right, so that's gonna be the Royals. And now let's put on the blues. Now the blues do look different. They do look different. This one has like a little bit of a bright, a little brighter brightness to it. Uh, just a touch greener looking than these blues. And um, that also makes me very, very happy. I think that's gonna be good. And once again, I do believe that there are in a similar ratio one thing I do want to mention is that it's easy for us to take for granted the uh, continuous but multiple incremental improvements that have been made to Mobius. Getting these connected and getting these um, you know, as part of the aquarium was so fast, so fast, you guys. The G6 uh, took the firmware update just a little bit faster than before, um, but right now, you know, we're just kind of playing around and tweaking, and, um, you know, it's definitely a privilege to be able to do this. 
This right here, this makes me very happy. This is kind of the subtle details that you won't find in the fine print. But anybody who has very familiar with the G5 is going to appreciate that the blue channel, uh, you know, went from having just a slight greenish tinge to over here. This blues are definitely a little bit bluer. And that's, you know, one of the things that pushes the overall spectrum in a way that I think most aquarists um, will really appreciate. All right, so now we're gonna fire up a couple channels that are actually not even present in the sixth generation because these I put these on the same aquarium. Um, so the cyans are turning on, obviously they're missing in this one. That was one of the uh, kind of a least popular color channels. And we got some limes. These are kind of a yellowy green that are also emitted from this particular fixture. Turn on the reds. Still just two reds to get the job done. These look uh, visually, these basically look the same. If I squint, these might be a tiny bit oranger, but that's um, definitely splitting hairs. And then warm whites. Again, I celebrate these every time they're in a fixture completely absent in the G5. And in this fixture, we have four, which is more than enough to basically play ball with this huge cacophony of blues. I'm gonna turn that down and then turn up the cool whites. So we actually have two more cool whites in the Gen 6 than the Gen 5. I'm gonna just go ahead and um, turn on a Kelvin slider, which is gonna kinda give us a, a sampling of everything. Doing these kinds of detailed, hands-on, deep dives is a signature of reef builders and something that we've always done. I thought we'd be able to include in one video just evaluating how the color looks on a table as well as over an aquarium, but I realize now we're getting a little long in the tooth for this particular video. So we're gonna go ahead and slap these, these lights over tanks where they can be compared side by side so we can really get a feel for how these lights compare um, in a practical, setting. So thanks for joining us on this video. I know it's a little bit on the nerdy, geeky side. Um, I don't have any uh, quantitative uh, details to share with you. I can definitely tell you that the blues in this fixture, even just look at them that, like this way right now through the glasses, they're definitely bluer in here than they are in here. It's clear that from the smaller LEDs or rejiggering of the spectrum, it's really a different animal, even though on the surface, the fixture and the housing itself is uh, more or less the same, but we're gonna put it over some corals, put it over some reef tanks. We're gonna put up the next hands-on video very, very soon. So thanks for following us to the end on this one. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll tell you all about this brand new generation of Radeon LED lights from channel sponsor Ecotech Marine. Big thanks to them for sending these new lights over. Big thanks to Aquatic Art for let, uh, letting us borrow their Radeon Gen 5 Pro, which will return uh, very soon and uh, we'll catch you guys on another video very soon. Bye guys.